Hey guys, I'm Coach Michael Burt, the Super Coach, coming to you live from the Greatness Factory in Murfreesboro, Tennessee. And one of my favorite, favorite lines of the Bible, as I heard T.D. Jakes, the great pastor, talk about is Benjamin in Genesis. He talks about Benjamin becoming like a ravenous wolf. He devours in the morning and he divides the spoils in the evening. If I can get you thinking how to go out and attack the market in the morning, to have something to divide in the evening, then we're going to be in good shape. You're watching Super Coach. I'm going to break down how you go out every day and attack offense, offense, push, so that you actually have something to divide in the evening. You're watching Super Coach, and I'm Coach Michael Burton. Everybody needs a coach in life. Coaching businesses and entrepreneurs like you to spike an additional 40% to your bottom line. Michael Burt is a multi-championship coach, best-selling author, trainer, motivator, and all-around super coach. Now, now, from the Greatness Factory Studios, this is Super Coach. Hey guys, Coach Michael Burt, welcome. Welcome, welcome to Super Coach. I believe everybody needs a good coach in life. I believe a good coach can change your life. I believe those people that have a coach earn three and four times the amount of money than those that don't. Okay? I believe that every single Tuesday or Wednesday we come into your life to do three things. Multiply life. How do I get you an offensive posture? Multiply your money. How do I compress the sales cycle? And Right? Multiply your life, your money, and your business. Your business is where you're going to have something to divide at the end of the day. Your business is going to be the vehicle that gets you to the, the, the finish line. Your vi business is going to be where you distribute your talents to the world. So if you don't like your business, your business is not successful, you don't have any excess cash at the end of the month, there's too much month at the end of the money, as Jim Rohn used to say, then we, we got a problem here. We got to get better at our business. And that's what we're going to talk about today because all day, every day, all I do is coach businesses all day every day. 7.30 this morning, I'm at the BNI meeting in Nashville speaking to a group of business owners. Then I'm coaching the uh, the Weikert real estate agents. Then I'm coaching my monster producers. Then I'm coaching this mortgage company. All day, every day, I'm coaching people. All day, every day. And so what I'm thinking is, is, is most people operate and live in a defensive posture. Defensive posture means they show up to work they wait on something to happen. They hope something takes place. They hope a lead comes in. Hope is not a strategy. I got to show you how to go out and attack the market. And not long ago, every night I end my, I end my day with, a, with a, uh, typically a sermon, and I rotate a few pastors. T.D. Jakes, Stephen Furtick, Brady Cooper, um, um, the pastor, Robert Morris. Uh, these are people I listen to every night as I'm winding down my day. And I hear T.D. Jakes not long ago talk about Benjamin. You see, at the, at the end of Jacob's life, he sits down with each one of his sons, right? This is Genesis 46, 29. And he sits down with each of his sons and he gives them, like, like he explains them and he talks about them. And it's a little confusing, but he gets to the very end, 49, verse 49, Genesis 46, 29, and he says this, Benjamin, and like a ravenous wolf, he devours his prey in the morning and he divides his spoils or plunder in the evening. And T.D. Jakes was using that to say, most people don't go out and devour anything. Look up the word devour. To attack. To, to push toward. To take over. Here's what, I, here's what I tell people. In your business, you need to devour in the morning. How you start your day is so critical. I'm going to show you how we work our days, how we coach our monster producers. Because you, you need to learn to devour in the morning because here's the problem. If your business is not creating excess cash for you, and right now it may be in a beginning stage, you're building your little empire, and right now you have no excess cash left over. There's really nothing to divide in the evening. You know, we talk about this. To have, have something to divide. See, see, one of my first business coaches taught me to have what's called autonomy accounts. As money is generated in, that money goes to different accounts. I got 10% that goes to the church, and I got uh, I got 10% or 15% goes to investments. I got 10% that goes to uh, my owner discretionary income. I got 10% that go to my personal income to, to live off of. I got 10% of growth fund for what, whatever to put back in the business. But here's the deal. 20% of zero is still zero. If, if I don't go out and devour in the morning, 
I got nothing to divide in the evening. So Benjamin is sitting around, sitting around and, he's, and, and uh, Jacob is talking to each one of his sons, and he's explaining this. And he says, Benjamin, you're like a ravenous wolf, man. You go out and you, you attack in the morning, and you divide the spoils in the afternoon. So it got me thinking about all the people I coach, and I'm thinking, how many people actually attack the day? How many people actually go into the day, number one, with the monster producer planner, they're mapped out, they're planned out, they're strategied out, they've spent 7 to 15 minutes the night before, they've got the volume they're looking for, they got the attack mode that they're in. How many people actually do that? So, so here's how I attack a morning. Number one, I get up at about 4.40, 4.45 in the morning. Do I want to get up at that time? No, I don't. I'm just like you. I'm just like you. I love staying up late. I love to watch West Wing every night before I go to bed. I love to stay up and goof off, but I know that 4.40 is coming real early. And I drag myself up out of bed. I get me a spark, an Advocare spark. I get my mind going a little bit. I, I get into a little bit of spiritual things. And then I'm off to see my trainer, Clay Skipworth. Okay, I'm off to, I'm off to get coached in the gym. I get there. I don't want to be there. I get there. I'm mad at Clay. I'm mad I got to get up at 5 o'clock in the morning. I'm mad I got to be there. I didn't. Want, I don't ever want to be there. And then, so what I do is I start going, and I get in with Clay. I work out 30 to 45 minutes, and I start getting out. Now, now my mojo's coming back to me. Now my energy's coming. Now I'm going, I got my first win of the day. Now I'm devouring the morning. The sun is coming up about 6 o'clock as I'm driving home. I'm listening to some music. Now I get back, and I'm ready to go, man. Now compare this to the way I, the way I used to wake up. Drag out of bed. Be late going everywhere. Not have my mindset ready. Not have my confidence where it needs to be. I'm in a total reactive mindset, and I am just getting whipped. I'm not devouring anything. I, I'm not devouring anything. Now I'm devouring that morning. Okay, now I'm getting in my office 7.30, 8 o'clock. My team is in, in the office by 8.30. We're training every morning from 8.30 to 9 with my sales team. From 9 to 11, we're on the phones trying to generate and write new business every day in every way. We're on the phones writing new business. We're making outbound calls. We're working prospects. And I'll show you how to do that. So, so why is this important? What I'm doing is I'm devouring in the morning. I'm trying to get those spoils and plunder up so I've got something to divide in the evening. See, So why is it critical to get your day started like this to create new opportunities? Private victories precede public victories. So if you're dragging out of bed every morning, you're lazy, you're tired, you're running late, you're stressed out, you show up at work, you're not ready to go, man. we got to spend all of our time winding you up, cranking your batteries on. You're not ready to go. The way you start to devour the morning is important. Most people say, I prospect all day long, and maybe you do, but most people don't. This is why you got to commit every morning to prospecting. This is why you got to commit every morning to growing your business. So it's critical how you start because the start affects the whole day. You hear people say, well, I woke up on the wrong side of the bed. I'm looking at the people listening. Chris Hotze, Tom Tozer, Daniel Hodges, Devoured in the Morning. What's up, Jim McCarthy? Tom Farrell, Jonathan Davis, Dave Stegg, Brian Sherman. Thank you, Brian, for signing up for our programs. Okay, here's the problem, man. You're not devouring in the morning. So it's critical because it sets the tone. It sets the tone. And I'm looking for rhythm. I'm looking for energy. I'm looking, okay? So what you need to do, why you need to increase your prospecting time is because of, of, of what's called the law of innovation and diffusion. I've been talking about it in Monster Producer, and I'm going to come back to that in the second segment. But what you need to move from is really this defensive posture to this offensive mindset. If I'm running Leo Martinez, if I'm running a, a retail shop, i got to get people in the door. I, I, I go into retail shops, I'm like, how many people came in today? There's like three people coming. You're not making money seeing three people, four people, five people. You need to be seeing thousands of people. You need to be interacting with hundreds of people. Not, not a week, a day. In today's world, a day. So we come back in segment number two. I'm going to show you how to attack the morning. I'm going to show you how to understand the law of diffusion and innovation of how many people you have to go through. You're going to be shocked at how many people you actually have to go through to even have something to divide. I got asked the other day, what's the number one thing that a person who's starting a small business don't understand? You know what I tell them? How much money it actually takes to run a small business. If you're going to grow anything, New Greatness Factory, $2 million. The sign, $20,000. You understand what I mean? The, the furniture, $100,000. People don't even understand how much dough you got to have to really grow. We come back in segment number two. We got some kryptonite, Jack. This is the one thing holding you back, by the way. I like if you ain't got any dough, they ain't no grow. You know what I'm talking about? 
if you ain't got any dough, there ain't no grow. What's that, what's that old chia pet used to grow on people's heads? Maybe I need some of that. Here's your kryptonite. You don't have anything to divide because you won't attack anything during the day. I asked my team. We had a person a minute ago say they couldn't afford 69 bucks a month in our monster program. They're, they're online 69 bucks a month. They're not selling any houses. They're not doing anything, and they said they can't afford it. You know why? Ain't nobody's fault but your own because I'm giving you all the tools you got to have to make money. It, all you got to do is learn how to sell. Until you learn how to sell at a higher level, until you devour a morning, don't give me any excuse of why you can't afford anything. There's two thoughts here. Live below your means or create more means. Live below your means or create more means. You, you're never going to cut your way to being rich. You do get that, don't you? You're never going to cut your way to becoming wealthy. You, you expand and devour in the morning so you got some spoils to divide in the evening, just like that ravenous wolf, old Benjamin. We come back in segment two. I'm going to talk about the law of innovation and diffusion and why you got to go out and get in front of 350 just to get to 52. You're watching Super Coach, and I'm Michael Burke. Guys, we're here in Edington, North Carolina with one of the top boat manufacturers in the world. And this is a beautiful, beautiful boat. Now, let me tell you the semblance of this is that in Monster Producer, our big coaching program, we have a little joke about fishing for bluegill versus blue marlin. And what we're talking about is who could write you the largest check for your services that you enjoy working with. You see, that's the thing. You could get a big check out of somebody that you absolutely hate working with. What you're looking for is enlightened people. They have a unique perspective. You got a vested partnership. It leads to a collective passion. And they are rewarding you not only in the form of money, that's just one form of compensation. They're rewarding you in the form of love and appreciation and value. They're adding to your life versus subtracting from your life. So here on this boat, man, I'd like to have one of these. I wanna ask you a hard question. Are you fishing for bluegill? Or are you fishing for blue marlin? It's time to start getting focused in Monster Producers. That's what we're talking about this month. How to focus on two or three game-changing relationships. Quit having the front door so wide open. Okay, you can sell people into products and services, but what you really need is a very intentional game plan about who you're going after, who could change everything. You're just one person away from a new season in your life. Are you fishing for blue gill? Are you fishing for blue marlin? Hey guys, welcome back. Super coach. I believe everybody needs a good coach. Just like I believe everybody needs a good heating and cooling person. That's why my big boy just call aloha.com Shane Ray, the big kahuna. Where you at big kahuna? Where you at, big kahuna? Come on, brother. Come on, brother. I'm looking for you. I need to turn that heating and cooling on. Somebody is all hot and bothered by the show today. Needs to come the air conditioner on. I got up in the middle of the night the other night, big kahuna, and I turned my air conditioner on, Chris Hotze, because I was hot. <laughs> Bill Maddox is hot. He's all hot and bothered. He's working, he's working through what? He worked through midlife. What is that called? <laughs> it's not called anything. Big Kahuna. All right, guys, what we're talking about today. He's here, brother. Big Kahuna's here today. Just call Aloha.com, takes the board, makes it interesting. Proud sponsor of the Super Coach Show. Man, I'm proud of you. And let me tell you who else I'm proud of. I'm proud of people who get up and devour in the morning and divide the spoils in the evening. So people that are just joining to the show, I borrowed this from the Bible, Genesis 46, 29. Jacob's sitting down, he's talking to all of his son. He's giving a little bit of overview. And he says, a Benjamin, like a ravenous wolf, you devour in the morning. You devour the prey in the morning and you divide the spoils or plunder in the evening. And I'm sitting there thinking, some people ain't got anything to divide. You understand, Jack? Where do I get something to divide? I get it from the generation of sales. Money changes hands when problems are solved. The bigger the problem, the more money people will pay to solve it. I go out into the marketplace. Now, I told you that I was going to talk about the law of diffusion and innovation. Start, watch, watch the video, Simon Sinek, Start With Why. I'm reading a book right now by Sinek called Find Your Why, which I think is really good because people do business with other people that believe the same things they do. And, and here's, what, here's what the law of innovation and diffusion says. Listen, uh, there's only 2% of people that are innovators. The innovators make quick decisions. They're movers and shakers. They come with batteries included. They need to see it one time. They don't even need to see it. I'm in. They're, they're here. They're there. 2%. 13.4, 13 13.9% are early adopters. That means they need to see it just a little bit, but they get on board quickly. 34% early majority, 34% late majority, 16% laggards. Now, you say, what, why am I telling you this? 
Chris Holtzi, I'm telling you this because when I do the math on this, and I have, it means for every 30 people that you get in front of, only 4.8 are going to believe the same things you do and jump on board quick. So 4.8. Then there's going to be 10 people that get on board, but they got to see a little bit more. You got to feed them more information, Phil Griffin. You got to feed them more information, Will Webb. You got to feed them more information. Who else is on here with me that I hadn't said hi to? Clint Trinity, Jenny Durant. You got to feed them a little bit more information. You follow me? But they're going to get on board. They just need to see a little bit more. Then there's 10 people that are going to get on board. It's going to take you seven touches. Late majority. Late majority. Seven touches. Then there's laggards. Let me give you another word for laggards. Losers. They ain't never getting on board. They don't have a propensity to get on board. They can't take risks. They don't take chances. They don't do anything. Okay? They're laggards. They're losers. Quit spending your time and energy on the bottom feeders. If I had to speak to all the leaders out there watching the show... Here's what I would tell you. Quit spending your time on the bottom 16% of your people. They're never going to produce. I won a championship at Riverdale with six players. Count them. Had 18 on the team. Six played. 12 watched. Those six win. Not that they were bad kids. They were good kids. But they were not capable of doing it. If they would, they'd been on the floor. So when I'm, when I'm, when I'm devouring in the morning and I'm putting together my plan for the day, and I would show you this at any time. If you ever want to see my planner, if you don't have a monster producer planner, Shame on you. This is my day-to-day. You see this? This is devouring. I spend 7 to 15 minutes a night, every single night, mapping out my day of how I'm going to devour the morning, devour the morning. So I work with a top real estate agent in Clemson, South Carolina, and here's what he always said. He always said, man, work your prospects in the morning, solve the world's problems in the afternoon. Work your prospects in the morning, solve the world's problems in the afternoon. Devour in the morning, divide the spoils in the evening. Long obedience in the same direction. I'm pushing, I'm pushing, I'm pushing. So my offensive mindset is pretty simple. I'm up every day somewhere around 4.45, 5 o'clock. I'm in the gym at 5.30 with Clay Skipworth, right? I'm, I'm, I'm at the office 7.30, 8 a.m., Okay, this gives me time to see my wife, see my daughter, give them some sugar in the morning. I'm at the office in the morning, 8.30, we're training our people. 9 o'clock, we're on the phones making outbound calls, and then it's just a schedule of meetings all day long of energy. I'm shutting it down about 5.30, 6 o'clock at night. I'm going home and having dinner with my family, unless I've got something scheduled. Okay, balance is all things in its correct proportion. I'm taking all day off on Saturdays. I spend four or five hours planning on Sunday. That is my week. I'm devouring. I'm on offense. I used to have a rule to get the ball to the midline in 2.3 seconds. So for you, how do you devour a day, Phil Griffin? Start every day Cameron Bailey off of my hit list. Every day I'm calling on new money. Who's on my hit list today? New money's on my hit list. Who, where's my hit list come from? Current clients, I'm asking for referrals. Past clients, strategic partners, people I can help. People I see out in the world I think we can help. That's my hit list. Then I got my farm club. These, those people that have indicated interest, that I'm going seven touches. I'm doing videos. I'm, I'm, I'm non-linear touching them. I'm linear touching. I'm jabbing. I'm hooking. Right, Jeremy Nadeau? Okay, Corey Hastings, I'm jabbing. I'm jab, 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 hook. Jab, 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 hook. I'm going seven touches. Then I got my top 25, my biggest advocates. I'm loving on them. Who can you bring to class? I'm bumping. I'm nudging. I'm inviting, okay? Then I got my new clients I'm spending time with. Listen, the best time to ask for referrals, first 15, 30, 60, 90 days. Devour in the morning. Divide the spoils in the evening. Devour in the morning. Have something to divide in the evening. So so let me end this show, and I'm going to do the final kryptonite here, Jack. I'm going to do this segment, and then we're going to shut it out, okay? Because I've said everything I need to say today, right? I could just say get off your booty and, and get in there and do it, right? That's what Benjamin did. Like a ravenous wolf, man, he went out there and he, oh, attack. That's what you got to do, man, like a cheetah. You got to attack Daniel Hodges, Mickey Duncan. You got to attack it. So let me ask you this question. What's stopping you from attacking it like a ravenous wolf? What's stopping you from devouring in the morning? What's stopping you? I got four things that will stop you. Number one, you got a lack of discipline. Discipline is a derivative of the word disciple, which means to give yourself to a person or cause you believe in. Do you believe in your future or not? You're not committing to me. The people that the people that I coach, I tell them, you're not committing to me. You're not letting me down. You're letting yourself down. You're letting your family down. You're letting your potential down. That's who you're letting down by being lazy. You're not letting me down. I'm not disappointed in myself today because I got up this morning and devoured in the morning. 
You're letting you down. That's who you're letting down. Your potential, your, your, your future. So lack of discipline, and I am not a disciple to my own future. My future reside, resides in my imagination. Nobody can see my future but me. That means I can't hold you responsible if I don't reach my future. You follow me here? You can't see my future. So therefore, it's not my wife's fault if I don't reach it. Dorinda, Cersei, it's not, it's not my kid's fault if I don't reach it. It's not my mama's fault if I don't reach it. It's my fault. You know why? Because I'm the only one who can see it. So number one, you got a lack of discipline, which means you are not a disciple to your own future. So you don't have the self-discipline to devour in the morning and divide in the evening. You don't have it. Number two, uh, inconsistency. These go hand in hand. This is the number one thing I hear from salespeople. Well, I'm just inconsistent. What, 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 can I go down to Walmart and buy some consistency? Because to me, consistency is I got a system, Brian Chalmers, and I'm working the system. The power is in the process. The power is in the system. So I give all the people I coach a system. The system is in the Monster Producer Program. So what does it look like? Explanation of services, selling system, follow-up, extraction of referrals, person of interest. That's the five thing I'm teaching. I teach it every day, over and over, work the system. There's so much money to be made in the system. Now, we get in that system and we break it down. How do you explain your services? How do you work four or five strategies? How do you follow up and be a challenger? How do you ask for referrals? What are the seven ingredients of a per I break it down and break it down. Number three, complacency, which is a gradual settling to a place of mediocrity. That's all complacency is, guys. Doesn't it sound sexy? A gradual settle. Do you send your kids off to school in the morning? Matt Downey, do you send your school off? Okay, and, and to, the, to the kids in the morning and say, hey, go gradually settle to a place of mediocrity, right? Go gradually settle to a place of mediocrity. And here's the fourth one, disconnection to purpose. I, I said this week on a Facebook Live, uh, and Matt Downey, I do appreciate you, man, for following up with me and, and being right there in my face. One of the things I said on Facebook Live earlier this week is a person is really dangerous in the world, good, dangerous meaning good, if they got four things. They got courage. They got influence, they got purpose, and they got cash. When you put those four things together, man, you get an Elon Musk or a Steve Jobs or a, or a uh, Salesforce leader or, or um, uh, Bezos, you get people who are doing big things. Now, what if you ain't got the cash yet? You could take away a lot of things from me, but you can't take away my courage. You can't steal away my confidence. You can't take away my, my purpose. You may be able to take away some of my influence and you may be able to take all of my cash, but you can't take away the first three things because I made up my mind I'm going to live life aggressively. So if you want to live life aggressively with me, i got to get you involved in some way. That means you need to be a monster producer. I'll let you come one time for free. Come see it live. Come experience it online if you're out in the world. I don't think I have any 10X tickets to sell. We're going to celebrate because I think we sold all 50 of our 10X tickets, but you can. Get down to Seaside, Florida with me in an intimate setting where you and I are talking about how to devour a day, how to divide the spoils. I'll talk to you about all my investing strategy. I'll talk to you about how we're growing 200% a year. I'll talk to you how I surge a business. I'll talk to you about every mistake I've ever made. I'll talk to you about my personal mistakes, my professional mistakes. But you got to get involved for me to help you. So let me finish the show with some kryptonite. What's up, Bill Taylor? I appreciate you, Bill. Promoting us means the world to me, man promoting us, pushing us. Here's a kryptonite, the one thing holding you back. Your attention is on the wrong areas where there is little to devour. And you know what I mean by that? You're going after areas where there's no demonstrated capacity of people paying to, to, to purchase something in that area. I've done it. I've done it so many times. I come up with the concept and nobody buys it. I had to go through a lot of concepts to get to the good ones, man. But right now, here's the problem. You're going into a market where there's no profit margins. There's a whole lot of work. Let me give you an example before we close off. Jonathan Davis. My wife wanted to start a catering business. And I was all for it. She was taking initiative. She was becoming an entrepreneur. She always, she loves entertaining people. And I said, go for it, sweetie. So she would go in and cook for three or four days, Jack only to go in there and serve people for two hours. And she's got all the cleanup. And let me tell you what she fa quickly found out. There were no margins in the catering business. 
three days of work to make a couple hundred bucks, maybe a thousand dollars. You got to travel here unless you go big with it and become a huge caterer, which would take thousands of dollars. Here's what she found out, man. There is no margin in that business. But you know, the only way she found that out is she had to do it. She had to go devour and she found out there was nothing to divide, okay? So I like high profit businesses. I like easy, lucrative, and fun businesses. I like businesses, uh, Diane Higgins, where a person can go in and generate a lot of cash, right? I, li I, like, I like businesses where there's good upside and there's good healthy margin, and it's not so hard to go out and make the money you're trying to make. So every single week, guys, I bring you, try to motivate your life, your business, your money, We've even got Living with the Monster now with my wife and I. We got all kinds of new things. We're building new greatness factories. We're about to start building. We got this Monster Producer Coaching Program. I'm speaking at 10X in, in Las Vegas in February to 9,500 folks. I wish you'd come with us for all the people joining. It's going to be unbelievable. I just added Matt Monero and Hank Norman to my private party on Wednesday night. There's going to be more celebrities coming. You never know, Jack, who's going to show up. We may have Donald Trump there. Who knows, man? Who knows who will be at this party? So, guys, I believe in you. I believe everybody needs a coach in life, and I appreciate every week on Super Coach. Download on Stitcher, iTunes, Radio, Podcast Republic, and by all means, please share this. If this has been valuable for you, share it with other people so we can go ahead of other people in the market. Go devour in the morning so you can divide those spoils in the evening. Hey guys, Coach Michael Burke, the Super Coach. I'm about 30,000 feet in the air right now, flying back from North Carolina. We're talking about what we can do with you. We're talking about how we can help you. We're talking about how we can help you get a lift in your sales. And so I'm inviting you personally to my next Monster Producer course. If you enjoyed the energy that we had, if you enjoyed the content that we had, if you're looking for a group to plug into and really play at a much higher level, then I want to see you there. Here's what I need you to do. Email me, info at coachbert.com and say, I'm in, coach. First one's free on me. See if you like it. If you like it, we'll take an action that day. We're going to get you committed to Monster Producer. And over the next year, I'm going to help you get a 43% increase in your sales. Are you ready to be a monster?